This video will demonstrate how to perform quick wire termination. Your device may differ from the device presented in this video. Be sure to follow all wiring instructions and diagrams provided with the product. If you're unsure about any part of the instructions, consult an electrician. Have the following tools on hand. A flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, electrician's pliers, a wire stripper, electrical tape, and a handheld voltage tester. To avoid fire, shock, or death, be sure to turn off the power at the circuit breaker or fuse and test that power is off before wiring a device. Use a handheld voltage tester to confirm that there is no power. Quick wire type of termination is found on residential grade switches and receptacles. Quick wire is also known as speed wiring, stabbing, or backstab termination. Because of the size of the hole used for terminating, you can only use 14 gauge solid copper conductors. You cannot use stranded wire or 10 or 12 gauge wire. In order to quick wire, take one of the conductors and strip the insulation from the conductor the length shown on the strip gauge on the rear of the device. Next, firmly insert the conductor into the hole, pushing it until it seats and bottoms out in the cavity. Then, Tug on the wire to assure it's firmly held in the device. Do the same with the second conductor, again inserting it firmly until it bottoms out and giving it a tug to assure it's held in place. To release a wire that has already been seated, use the rectangular release slots near the circular quick wire holes. Gently press the tip of a small screwdriver in the slot and back the wire out gradually. Gently twisting while pulling may make it easier. Leviton does not recommend reuse of the quick wire connection after the initial installation. The last step is to terminate the ground conductor, which is the green or bare copper conductor. Ground screws are always hexagonal in shape and colored green. As you can see, there is a small ledge or anchor here, and you can form what is known as a shepherd's hook around the ground. Do this by using the ends of pliers or a wire stripper and curl the end of the conductor into a small hook. Then loop it clockwise around the terminal screw. Using a screwdriver, rotate the screw clockwise to tighten it and secure the wire to the terminal. If you live in a municipality where properly grounded metal wall boxes are used, you may not need to use the ground screw to provide ground to the device. Instead, the brass self-grounding clip will provide necessary grounding. Always check your local building code requirements and be certain to comply. The device is now terminated. For more information on specific termination methods or wiring of Leviton devices, visit Leviton.com.